In this project, I was assigned with two responsibility. Firstly, I was responsible for taking videos and photographs for different angles for this behind the scene shot. Uh, for those behind the scene shot, I just have to make sure that I do not appear in cameras. Secondly, I had to work on the teleporting effect in post-production. I had some problems with the color grading when working with the scene where both the blue locket and green glass come together. Also, I had problem with the moving clouds in the beach, beach scene when I editing the uh, first teleporting effect. Takes some time to separate the moving clouds and the smoky effect. I also have to use pen tools, especially during the teleportation from one place to another. Uh, for this project, I was assigned with uh, two responsibilities. My first role is during the production phase, and my second role was in the post-production. My responsibility during the production is as an actor in the movie, and the second responsibility is to work on the titles and credits of the movie using After Effects. One thing that I learned as an actor for the movie is that the role of acting is not an easy job. Sometimes it's challenging and it tests your patience. Uh, there are times when my director let me act on a particular scene again and again. And it was very cold and windy during the shooting and to act in such a weather was also challenging. For the second responsibility, I used uh, CC particles for the main title and also used kinetic typography. In order to create a title using CC particles, I have to go through several uh, tutorials online. And for the kinetic typography effects, the lesson I've learned in the class has helped me a lot. Uh, hi, uh, for this project, I assumed the role of a director and also the video editor. Uh, I was in charge of the sound and the rough cut and also preparing behind the scene videos. I had to work with the soundtrack and also um, consult with my teammates uh, before I come to a conclusion. Uh, during the production phase, uh, we had a lot of issues with the uh, weather. Uh, it just kept changing, so uh, the footages were all different. Uh, I also had to take care of the final color grading, uh, since we had used two different cameras for uh, moving shots and static shots. Uh, it was a huge issue because uh, the white balance range in both the cameras were very different. Uh, both the uh, footages looked uh, very different and uh, we had to do a lot of work in the color correction and post-production. Uh, the sound came out to be pretty well. Uh, we didn't have any dialogues in our scene. Uh, it was just uh, some effects we had to uh, do in After Effects and uh, put some sounds for that. Uh, rest everything went well. My task was to select the equipment and the locations. So I selected the equipment by keeping in my mind that we are shooting outside, so we should have a proper equipment for that. And for in our project, there were many walking scenes for which we were confused which camera to use because of the stabilization issues. So we decided to use DJI Osmo, which was which I used for first time, and it was a new experience to use DJI. And we shooted our project on PXWX70 Sony, which we used earlier, and we are quite familiar with that. That's this camera. The difficulties was to select the locations and especially to select the locations where there are no more public so that it's easy for us to shoot. 